Leo, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading, my darling. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Mm. Leo, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have, or pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. I thank you all. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you for your support of this channel. Leo, I love you, but you got a couple haters in this energy. I ain't gonna lie. Pisces, heavy. Libra, uh, a little bit of Aquarius. Capricorn. Good Lord. What you do? Piss everybody off? It, no, they're not angry. They're It's, it, it's a hater energy. It's a hater energy. Uh, some of your exes live in Texas. <laughs> no, some of this is ex energy. Um, that's, uh, it looks like somebody maybe is trying to process, heal from things like that. Or maybe this is you. And so it's resurfacing energy that maybe you put aside or they put aside. Because it feels like it's like on the outskirts. Pisces is, is definitely closer to you than any of them. Pisces and Capricorn. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Outside of that, uh, you feel pretty good to me. I think that you're, I, I feel like in your energy, you're putting on a brave face, you know, fake it till you make it kind of thing. I think the outside world, probably your friends, family, coworkers, things like that, don't uh, really fully know the whole story of what you're processing because you're going through a time of nostalgia or you're reminiscing, um, whatever this old energy is, it's something resurfacing here that it's, um, it's just, it's affecting you, I think. Yeah. I pulled the angel answers because of, um, I think that in your private prayers and meditation, there's a question and we're going to get to that if uh, need be. I, I really, let's just do it and get it out the way. I really kind of don't want to put too much of your business out there on this because I know it was personal. So I'm just going to give you the answer and then you go back to God in your private prayers and meditation and you discuss it from there. You know what I mean? Your angels, your ancestors, whoever it is that you're connecting to for this information and guidance. But hopefully this will help you. Um, what was, thank you. <laughs> Never mind. You see that? So what we have is the answer is no, but remain positive and don't stop because it's up to you. All right. So whatever you talk to God about, I'm going to leave that between y'all. And what you and I are going to discuss is this energy. Can I have Leo? Hello. Leo, you're pulling uh, the horse and the giraffe. Yeah, it's, it's honestly on the same line as the angel answers. The horse talks about freedom and independence and um, breaking away, you know, uh, from bondage. The giraffe is see the big picture, you know, look at the whole story. You know, what is it that you want? It's obtainable by you. It's same thing that the angel answers are kind of falling into that kind of that same energy. The dragonfly is underneath. Okay. Which is, uh, face the truth, deal with truth, deal with facts, uh, not the illusion, not the confusion, not the facade. You understand? Deal with what's on the table. All right. When you're not sure about a move that you need to make or that you are considering, then you put it on the table, right? Put it on the table. The meat and get to the meat and potatoes and work from that. 
that allows you to separate emotion from logic and it also allows you to uh, separate you know uh, how can I say that uh, what's real and what's kind of in your head you know what I mean because we can paint a picture in our heads and that not be the true reality but it um, it's a picture in our head to make us more comfortable you know but obviously Leo in this energy here you know, you're doing great, but you're just a bit uncomfortable and you're trying to, I guess, figure out your next move. Put it on the table. Put the meat and potatoes on the table. Let me have a center for Leo. What's at the core right now? And I have the Eight of Cups reverse and I have the Devil reverse. Yeah, I think, you know, guys, whether you like it or not, uh, there is either a past energy that uh, you're trying to let go of or that you've already released and it doesn't want to release you or vice versa. This energy is very, very, very nostalgic. It was a connection. Now, it could be a habit. The devil picks up on toxic energy like toxic people, um, addictions, um, uh, old ways of thinking, toxic behavior, you know, uh, things like that. You understand? Anything that would maybe have kept you trapped or bound in a certain predicament. Uh, the uh, devil energy doesn't allow uh, growth. It doesn't want you to expand and edify, you know. Um, but keep in mind, I did call Capricorn earlier. This can simply be a freaking Capricorn that is like, uh, you know, in your energy, period. Or maybe if you have Capricorn in your chart, the Capricorn energy is, it's not in balance with where you are in life. Does that make sense? Because Capricorn energy can be a bit overbearing, you know? Yeah, uh, it can be a bit overbearing. And uh, it can, when if you're trying to walk away from something, it could uh, kind of tell you, no, not yet. You ain't ready. Do that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. The wheel is here because how you handle this is going to determine this next move. That's the thing, Leo. If in your private prayers and meditation, right, you're talking to God, you're talking to your angels and ancestors, and you're like, look, this is, um, I know there's more out here for me. I'm thinking about this, that, and a third. Um, you know, I really need some guidance on this matter because I really don't want to make this move um, and lose what I have chasing a dream. You understand what I'm saying? Because we see the future as a dream because it's not yet lived. You understand? But at the same time, you know if you stay in the environment that you're in, that it's it feels like it's stifling you. You know, it feels like it's a ceiling that's too short and you're outgrowing it. Does that make sense? So that's, you step back, you know, and realize you're not stuck, you're not bound, and you're not crazy, you know? But if you want uh, bigger, better, brighter uh, things, then you actually are going to have to own up to the release of something that you might not be sure about if, is honestly going to let you go. How about that? You know what I mean? So you might say, look, green eyes, I, look, I could do this. I know I'll be all right. I'll be cool. But maybe your partner or your job is saying, oh, hell no. You ain't going nowhere. Where you going? Mm -mm. If you going, we going. How about that? <laughs> so your energy is going to wield this wheel. Either towards uh, newness, abundance, uh, you know, a uh, favor, what, what, whatever it is that you're asking God about and for, or if you go back, then you go backwards. Now, this energy brings in like uh, karma uh, because we can receive karma. People think karma is, is from doing people wrong. Sometimes you get your own damn karma from not doing um, what you were supposed to do. We've all had that. I mean, little things like you know, I should have did this yesterday, but now I have to do this and this. That's karma. It's a very, very slight 
uh, energy, but it's the same energy. You know, if you just minimize the scale a, a little bit, we see karma as, you know, you did this person wrong and you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get a whipping. You know what I mean? But sometimes we give it to ourselves and we have to take the, you know, the whipping is the work. You know what I mean? The whipping is the work. So keep that in mind. Let's crown this energy for Leo. What's hanging over their heads right now? Ooh. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you definitely feel like something is holding you back, baby. Something or somebody. The Nine of Pentacles, if, if it was in the upright, it's a very free energy. It's independent, you know? Um, it's an energy where you're kind of standing in the garden of abundance from and, and enjoying the fruit of your labor, you know? Uh, you're, it's a very intuitive energy. Uh, it's an energy that, uh, uh, that you're leaning into divine timing because you feel that you're on your life path, uh, and fulfilling your life purpose. But when these energies come in the reverse and it's just crowning over you, I don't, th I think you feel like somebody is just keeping you from being your best self or, Keep keeping, you know, a job, maybe a person, a family. I mean, I don't really care. Pick one. But you feel like it's keeping you from being your best self, um, like it's slowing you down. Knight of Pentacles. This is my turtle with hemorrhoids. You understand me? That's how slow this energy is. It's it's assured. That's probably why you feel like you're in a pickle. It's like, I, this is really a good job. It has, uh, uh, the pay is shit, but it's close to home. Or I like the people or blah, 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 blah. But the purpose of work is, uh, you know, to receive, you know, it's a transaction, uh, uh, it's a transaction arrangement. You know, you go to work, you get paid, you know, and um, you it, plan on growing, right? You want to grow within the company uh, and, and expand and edify, you know, things like that. The Knight of Pentacles is assured, but by the time he get there, you just might be in a wheelchair. That's the thing about the knight. You never know about this mother lover. I mean, look, he's supposed to be on the horse. This mother lover is walking faster than the horse. That's how slow this energy is. But it's guaranteed. It's still good energy. You understand? But you're like, well, wait a minute. By the time I get it together, messing around with this line, or, or if I stay on this path, I'm going to be uh, absolutely decrepit by the time I get to at least even a piece of where I'm trying to go. So I got to do something. Something got to change. This energy got to quicken up or I got to change my roads. It's like feeling like you're always stuck in traffic, you know? Let me see what's in the way. What's working against Leo? What's in the way? Hello? I have the fool in reverse, which is you feeling like I can't get started. I can't get my new beginning. I don't know what's going on. You know, I really don't think this is going to work. And then I have the Knight of Swords coming in, working against you, probably because you done told the wrong person um, about some dreams or some plans or about a creation that you have, and they're not doing nothing but raining on your parade. This is a nasty uh, night right here. It feels very negative to me. If you said, I want to have a baby, they said, why? <laughs> God forgive me, I'm laughing. Stop laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my, that was so horrible. Woo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leo, I love you. Give me a minute. I'm a, I, look, I'm human, damn it. Just give me a minute. Woo. God, that was bad. But that's what this person said. You know, everything that you're, you know, that you've expressed, you know, I don't know. I want to make you know, have an ice cream stand. I want to do a dessert store. Whatever you're saying, they're like completely against it and a very negative, you know, and this energy works against you because you're already doubtful and you feel stifled and you got this fool in your ear that ain't no help. Leo, what the heck? What is going on here? The Empress at the bottom of the deck, Libratorian energy. Ooh. This is working against you because this is that lack of confidence. I ain't going to lie. 
And I'm not saying that you're not confident. I mean, you're a friggin' Leo. You know you're the baddest of the bad. I mean, let's just keep it decent. I'm not talking about that part. I'm talking about the confidence uh, and security of knowing that whatever you touch turns to gold, number one. And number two, of knowing that uh, you're, you're, you're worth it, period. You're worth it. Because this, whatever this attachment is, you settled. I ain't gonna lie. You dumbed yourself down a little bit. Okay, baby? I love you. I know that hurt. What brought this on for Leo? Where's it coming from? Where's this coming from? What brought it on for Leo? The King of Cups. That's that damn Pisces. And there's the, yeah. The, uh, there's a conflict of, of love and emotion. That's where this is coming from. You're arguing with yourself within yourself um even though the world doesn't see it because you know he's the king of emotions so he has emotional control but i think the world doesn't see how much conflict you have inside of you of you trying to figure out how you can be your best self and not be like disrespectful you know um even either to others or even to yourself like how not to slight yourself and things like that and I know this sounds crazy. We, it's just us here, dog. The cross watchers, get out and mind your damn business, okay? So, all right, Leo. So it's just us. But people really don't understand that even though you guys are known for um, spontaneity and confidence um, and uh, very, very handsome uh, features and characteristics and energy, people don't know about your inner struggles, you know? on you, how much you struggle with not trying to literally, honestly, overshine in a room and you just can't help it. You will dumb yourself down to give them a minute, to give them the spotlight, to make them feel involved, um, to make you, them feel a part of and things like that. Um, because you are just in really programmed to always be your best self. And a lot of people don't have that. So when I say confidence works against you, it's not because I know that you don't have it. I know you guys have no problem with confidence. Okay, you are the king and queen of mother loving wands. Hello, hello. All right, however, you have a heart. And sometimes that heart, uh, the water of that heart, you allow it to put out your fire. And you can feel the fire in you starting to ignite and it's conflicting with the water of emotions. That's what this feels like, you know? So let's see where we're going with this. Future energy, please, for Leo. The Seven of Swords. I have to say that this could be a whole bunch of things but what it feels to me like the most is self-sabotage. Leo, I love you. And to each his own, we all have free will. But the Seven of Swords is not an energy that really looks at the big picture. It's an energy that has tunnel vision when it comes to the, uh, when it's uh, really focused on self. You know, if this energy was coming up for you and it's somebody around you, I would say it's somebody trying to get away with something like a thief in the night. You know what I mean? Um, somebody doing something behind your back, things like that. And those things may be also involved. But most of all, because of the main core energy of this reading for you, self-sabotage is here, you know? Now, what's also here is justice. What's also here is justice. Justice restores balance, okay? Justice restores balance. So if in the event you're looking at this and you're saying, look, I'm not self-sabotaging. I'm just doing what I think is best. I'll respect that. But justice is gonna come in then and rebalance. That means that if you decide to, let's say, take another course, start from zero, start from scratch, you know, figure out a way to fix something because you got time, energy, effort, um, and you, 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 you know, working it out. Justice is here. 
That, that, that means that whatever this cycle, you're going to repeat it. I'm not going to lie. I love you, but we talking. Because the fool here is coming in reverse working against you. All right? That's an, a fool is a zero. It's like a clean slate, a clean plate. Everything's gone. I'm starting fresh. And it's coming in reverse because the plate is full because you have a lot on your plate. You have a lot to consider, you know? And that works against you because the, the things that are on your plate are affecting uh, the decisions that you're trying to make for yourself as an individual, but you have to consider everything on your plate. And But in your private prayers and meditation, you're asking about yourself. You're not asking about the plate. Or am I saying that right? Yeah, I want to say it like that. You, you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes when we go to God, we'll say, you know, um, um, I'm not feeling like I'm my best self. You know, I got a lot going on. And I'm really looking for, let's say, I don't know, uh, abundance, right? We, I'm looking for abundance or I'm looking for a job. I'm looking for a job. So boom, then uh, you'll have three job offers that week, but none of them are, uh, none of them will work for you with your schedule with the kids. You understand? So you ask for the job, you got the job, but you have to consider the children. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel like that's why I pulled these angel answers because I feel like whatever you discussed in your private prayers and meditation, I think you need to redo with that. Uh, I, it has to be a re... Mm, uh, help me with my words, Lord. Um, you have to go back and reconsider uh, either this plate or you have to go back and ask God about the plate. Should I put the plate down? I mean, if it's your kids, what you going to do? I mean, I'm I'm just giving that as an example, guys. I'm talking about energy here. Keep that in mind, energy, okay? But you need a job that will allow you to, it, maybe you want to be a stay at home. You know, maybe you just want to work close to home. You need, maybe you just want to work at night so you can be available during the day. Re, uh, uh, tweak your, your prayers, tweak them. Because it's not like you're not getting answered. And it's not like you're not in tune, but I think you just, you're, you're incorporating too much or not incorporating enough that is, it's causing this inner conflict. And it feels like you're on a, um, not a, is that a Ferris wheel? What that, the hamster wheel, you know, which of course would always lead to self-sabotage because of the tunnel vision. You with me? Now, I have to say that this uh, Seven of Swords and Justice could be a legal matter. There's the attorney, Three of Pentacles. Um, some of you got to do a little bit of uh, time, or maybe somebody close to you has to do a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, it might be you. There goes a quick King of Wands. All right. Um, keep your chin up, you know. Do, do your college, you know, and um, keep your chin up, okay? Um, Knight of Wands coming in, Six of Swords. So eventually, I think you do kind of follow your passion at, to be at least operating under um, positive light, under divine light, under uh, divine guidance, under the guise of at least if I have to stay here, uh, I don't want it to be toxic. So you hold on to those things. Though Those are very dear to you. Uh, four of Pentacles, and that's really going to help you wield this wheel a little better when you get into that mindset and that frequency, okay? Now, this wheel turns and brings in divine love, and I'm going to tell you why you're getting love first. If you're asking for money or a house or a car or a family or whatever, I'm a, uh, God is giving you love first, divine love. Now, the Ace of Cups are divine waters. They wash, they replenish, they restore, they rejuvenate. And you need this first because your emotions, uh, like the last, what, five, six months have been um, very much uh, held tight to your heart because you've been trying to keep your emotions inside. And while you've been keeping your emotions inside, you've been in internal conflict. So these waters are going to come in to replenish and restore you because we need to get that bad water out. 
you know it's not like it, you were a horrible person or not a loving person but it's more like just uh just you know think of it as just a replenish a replenish okay now that look how much fire comes in after that after that divine water here comes your fire okay queen of wands ace of wands hello all right, you know she's a bad mother, shut your mouth, very confident, very passionate and creative, very focused. She don't need a mother lover. She's marriage material, but she takes a mate by choice and choice only. You understand? Now with this fire and a boomstick, unstoppable. Unmother loving, stoppable. Ace of Wands is fertile, abundant energy. You take that stick and you unga bunga your way through life. You know what I mean? Look at that. Right into healthy connections or getting in alignment with spirit, with your angels and ancestors and things like that, so that you can really process things that you've kind of internalized and held on to. Leo, I just feel like every betrayal that you've made or that somebody has made um, during your life's journey, you're still holding on to the, the sword that they use to stab you in your back so that it can remind you of being stabbed in the back so that you can never be stabbed in the back again. And then when you get stabbed in the back again, you hold on to that sword so that it can remind you that dummy, I told you the first time, don't get stabbed in the back again and blah 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 and then over time you carrying around 10 swords for what for what all right so piscean energy coming in with this hangman to give you a different perspective it's not downplaying your pain it's not trying to discount your story but it's a way to look at it yeah you got stabbed yeah it hurt yeah uh it, but it taught you you know you use that pain and turned it into power you use that pain and turn it into uh, lessons. You use those lessons and, and, and picked up some uh, knowledge. You took that knowledge and turned it into wisdom so you can apply it to your actions so that as you go forward, you feel like you're growing and not on a plateau and stuck. You with me? Hierophant energy, Taurian energy coming in. As you grow, instead of being stuck, you understand? Terrifying energy, it's like you're realizing, okay, there's, uh, you know, I can, let me first of all focus on hating the, the game instead of the player. You know, I've been hating the player, but I should be hating the game. And if I hate the game, then I'm watching for the game, you know? And if I'm watching for the game and I understand the rules of the game, then I understand the rules of engagement of the game. You understand what I'm saying? So when you do things like that and start to rethink like that, whenever things feel like they're overburdened, some to you and you get into your private prayers and meditation with the most high you can receive information and downloads from spirit to let you know like look this is a fool right here this job is scamming right here this person ain't honest right here this is a bad investment right here so you can make better choices in spirit so that when you are approached with them in the flesh life then you can be in alignment with your true self power and path and this is in love or life you understand what i'm saying leo so I know you have a full plate right now. Two of Pentacles is here. Um, I don't know if you're very, very busy or your finances are strained, you know, things like that. It looks like you are getting a little bit of help and I'm not going to say it's a lot. I'm going to tell you it's a, it's a little bit, okay? It's a little bit and it's a little bit at a time because you have to make a choice and that comes back to this, you know, where you're contemplating maybe should I, shouldn't I? Can I? Can't I? Will I? Won't I? You know? But once you make this choice, if you make a move, you know, even though you might be scared or doubtful or anxious with this nine of swords, it's something new. And you have to trust that God is going to provide. Manna will be provided. Six of Pentacles. What you need, when you need it. Okay, so we never want to make these hard decisions with this two of swords. If you feel like you don't want to make the decision, that's not the way to handle it. You can't just cover your eyes and say, all right, God, you, you work it out and I'll do whatever you say. You know, then that takes from us free will. And that's one of God's first gifts to us, free will. So do your homework. All right. 
It's your responsibility. If you want to move, look where you want to move to, what the cost of living is like, what the schools are like. You want to change jobs, you want to change cities, start doing some homework, okay? Homework. You do the homework, give God something to bless or put something in motion so that he can send you the Uber to take you there. But right now, if you get the Uber saying, I want to go somewhere, where are you going? Do you have an address? Outside of rich and famous? You understand what I'm saying? Put something in motion for God to bless. Okay? Because the chariot is coming and you don't have a say in this journey. The angel drives the chariot, but you do have a say in the destination. So get that address together. All right? Where are you going? So that you can live your best life and be free. Four of Wands here. Very balanced. Celebrate. And it's portal energy. It uh, It's an opportunity that creates opportunities that creates opportunities, the Four of Wands. Okay? So if you have to leave somebody alone or if you have to be alone for this process to be happy, but isn't that what you asked for? To be happy? I'm just saying, okay? So if in your private prayers and meditation, that's a perfect example. You just said, Lord, I want to be happy. But then it started being kind of brought to the forefront. Okay, you want to be happy, but do you remember when they did this? And do you remember when you did that? And look at this here. Look at this job. And and look at these kids. And look at this husband. Look at your family. And look at the... So it's like, well, wait a minute. I thought I was doing the right thing and on the right track because I released myself from that toxic energy. So why does it feel like my emotions and my heart can't let go? Ooh, Shamalama Ding Dong. Leo, this is going through me, baby. Mm. God darn. If you want a new beginning, you have to be willing to start new. Keep that in mind, okay? When you want a new beginning and you're asking for a fresh start and a clean slate, that means you have to clean your plate, okay? Be mindful of bad advice. You know, you can be respectful, but be mindful. You know, thank you, um, thank you for, you know, your opinion. Um, I'll definitely uh, keep it under consideration and let it go in one ear and come out the other. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, guys, I, I hope this helps. Now, if any event you said, look, green eyes, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. All right. Check your moon. Check your rising. Don't take this energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else. Okay, everybody thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it does support the channel. If you're interested in more content, I do post more content for members at Boomstick Level Energy and a little more for Leap of Faith, depending on where you are in your journey. Okay, plant a seed, jump on board. Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.